Now we've done some pretty wacky and crazy cars and trucks on this channel, but this is probably one of the most normal things we've done. I mean, it's a regular old cargo van and most of you know what this is. Most of you have either seen one, have had family that's had one, or have had a plumber that's came to your house that has one. This is a 2021 Chevrolet Express 2500 and this model has been in production since 1996. This is one of the longest production vehicles currently for sale in the United States. My name is Evo and you're watching God Next. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the history of this van. So, as I mentioned, it's one of the longest vehicles that's still in production for sale in the United States. This came out, or the original version of the Chevy Express came out for the 1996 model year. It was produced in 1995 for, as a 96, and it was originally meant to, I guess, be a direct competitor to the Ford Econoline, to the Dodge Ram vans of back in the 90s. This is the only one that's still a van on frame that uses a truck frame to essentially be a cargo van. They, the base gas engine is a 4.3 liter Ecotec 3 V6, which is what this specific van has. This one makes 285 horsepower and like 305 pound-feet of torque. Nothing crazy, nothing to blow your doors off, but I mean, it gets the job done. We're in the interior of the 21 Chevy Express, and at this point in time, I'd be telling you about all the carbon fiber, the leather stitching, the nice steering wheel, the gauges and everything, but there's not any of those things in here. What we have here is GM's uh, fantastic plastic or plastic fantastic everywhere, because everything's plastic, I mean. But then again, you have to remember, you don't buy this van because you want a nice interior. You don't leather and all that. You buy this because you're gonna use it as a van. You're gonna work from it. You're gonna put paint back here, whatever you use it for. But yeah, you get a very basic radio. This one doesn't even have Bluetooth. It just has an aux cord and then AM, FM. That's it. So nothing crazy. It does of course have AC because thank goodness it has that. And then that's it. I mean, nothing crazy. For 2021, you can turn off the airbag. I mean, this, it's been a feature in these cars for a long time, but no modern day vehicle comes with something where you can turn the airbag off. If you can see, I'm just flicking it. Right now it's on. So you, you can, I guess, say goodbye to your passenger if you turn it off, but it's very basic. And I mean, what would you expect from a cargo van that you're buying as a small business work truck? So yeah, not much to go over in here. On the back of the Chevy cargo van, of course, it's very cargo-y back here because there's nothing. So this is a 20 foot long van because this is the long wheelbase ver version, which means you could put anything back here. You could put shelves, you could do anything. I mean, you could put ladders back here if you're a contractor, do whatever you gotta do. This is literally one of the best small business vans you could buy. I'm gonna show you guys, this 4.3 liter is no joke. I mean, oh my God, wow. I mean, did you guys see how it threw me back in the seat? That was crazy. Now, nah, all jokes aside, it's it gets the job done. I mean, look again, you're not buying this cargo van to go 150 miles an hour. I mean, some of you may be crazy and you're planning on buying the V8 one and pro-charging it because that's what you should do. But regardless, it drives like a cargo van. If you've ever been in one of these, it drives the exact same way. It's just got newer suspension because it's new. Well two years old, but it's exactly how you'd expect it to be. It's very bouncy. It obviously doesn't handle corners very well because it's a big piece of metal that's just moving down the road. It's literally just a cargo van. That's just how it is. And the V6 gets the job done. I mean, the transmission's pretty smooth. It's just an old school torque converter automatic. It gets the job done, it does what it needs to get done, and that's it. And at the end of the day, you're gonna buy this as a small business. You're gonna drive it till it hits 150, 200,000 miles, and then you're gonna sell and buy the same van because it works. So while this may be a little bit out of the normal from what we do, you know, we've done crazy Mustangs and all that, this is probably something that most people can go out and buy. In fact, most people do if you have a small business. I personally really like the Chevy Express vans and the GMC Savannah. They are great, great cargo vans, or you, you can even get them as passengers, as I mentioned. So let me know down below what you think of this van. Should we do more, I guess, cargo or more basic van videos like this? Let us know down below. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.